Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one, between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New England Patriots. With that, it's time for Super Bowl 54, and we'll send you now to Miami, standing by to call their fourth Super Bowl together. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach. Well, the road ends here. It has been a wild, often unpredictable 2019 season. And now it's time for the greatest spectacle in all the sports. Super Bowl 54 from Miami. You know, this town has played host to 10 Super Bowls in the past. And tonight, we write chapter number 11. And what a matchup. We and look at this. Right away, a loose football. On first down, Newton. And an alley to run. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And a return will around the 25. To put it mildly, that is not the way anyone wants to start off a game. You fumble on your first offensive snap. But now what you're worried about is, does that linger throughout the game for your guys on offense? And how's the defense going to handle it? Because no one expects to run out on the field on the first play and have to all of a sudden start to play themselves. Wait, that, wait, 20. Jugger, jugger. Get They'll run on first down. It's Logan. And he'll run. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers with the first touchdown of this Super Bowl as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. So they went for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. Fielded about a yard deep and he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23 yard line now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here the pats at the line ready to go they trail early on in this super bowl as they come up first and 10 throwing is newton and he's got edelman for the first time that's complete He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Newton. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Good coverage downfield go. led to him Let's taking go. off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. They'll run it here. This is James Wright. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. On second and nine. Newton. And a dump off to White. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. From the gun on third down, Newton. Open man, it's Stocker. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call it? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open. 
He finds a way to pick up a first down. Trying to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the store, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early. Ran through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Face mask. Defense. Face mask penalty. And Charles, you were a defender. You know sometimes in the heat of the moment, it's hard to keep your hands away from that face mask. Sometimes you just get out of position as a defender when you're trying to make a tackle. So you end up flailing away and your hand gets into the wrong spot. Defense. And I know it's hard in live action, but you've got to keep your hands away from the face. That's a 15-yard penalty. You work on it all the time, making sure your target area is lower and trying to keep your hands away from the face mask so you don't get the big penalty. That throw by Brady incomplete. The veteran Jason McCourty there to make sure that one didn't find its target. We talk all the time about playmakers on offense, but let's face it, there are plenty of playmakers on defense, too. I think we just saw an example of one, didn't we? Not first that incompletion. Yeah, he's a great corner. They got a couple of them on that side of the football. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Second down and goal. Brady to the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. You got to be precise with your throw. Especially in this situation, you're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but maybe circle this play because if they get the stop and hold them to a field goal here, that's a pretty good job. They're already down on the scoreboard. A stop now would be vital for them because it could save them from having to do it multiple times later in the game in order to either get back into it or maybe have a chance to win. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. It's a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now Newton. And now. The ball's out, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Yeah. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. 23 yards for the touchdown as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. It's never fun for a defense to run on the field knowing that they're having to defend a short field. Just the idea of trying to limit an offense in that position, daunting for a defense. And he will get into the end zone to bump the lead up to three scores. Needed a couple yards for the two-point try. They go to the ground game, and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass. So you spread people out, decide to run the football, you often find good running lanes. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he returns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery. 
recovery. Touchdown for the Bucs. Now, first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it is stealing it and scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over them. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down on, at about the 23-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying... Now White lost the football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. On second down, they'll run with White. And he loses the football a second time. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. On first and ten, Newton. Now the ball comes loose, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game plan, and only if they met Mike Evans. He's going to go. He's at the 30. 10. Touchdown. Tampa Bay. Mike Evans. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. One play, 
80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. To throw is Newton. Stocker's got it. Complete. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes us second and nine. Now it's Newton. This is White on the screen. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Off play action. Newton. He wants it all for the end zone. As a man, and it's Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman, 39 yards. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Now for the point after. And he's got it as the score is now 31 to 7. A drive there of just four plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Mike Evans and the rest of the offensive unit heading back out there now. He has certainly made the most of his catches so far, both of them going for touchdowns here in half number one. And we've never met a team that doesn't talk about getting off to a fast start and featuring guys that they want to have the ball early. We're seeing both of those come into play here. Off to an incredible start. Got their feature guy going, and now everyone else should have opportunities. Brady will try again on second down. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Brady now on first down. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. To throw again, Brady. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Brady. He's got Evans. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and ten at the 38. Got a man. It's Brown. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tom Brady, his third touchdown pass of this first half as his guys continue to pour it on. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him. Let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? R-A-C. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. So don't say nothing. Now a first down throw for Newton. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And this one will be brought back to the 22. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and, in this case, lose the football game. Should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. On second down now, it's Logan. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. T.J. Logan, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back on, here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Let's get back out on the field. On second down, it's White, and he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. He can run for it, and he will. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two minutes even on the clock in the first half of Super Bowl 54. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. A good pick up there, a 22. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And can Sue. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. After the sack on first down. Newton on the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs' 20-yard line. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. They can't stay, but yes, a great leader. A guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert him to being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, oh boy, it's been good. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. From the gun, here's Newton. Finding time in the heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. On first down, Logan. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. 
A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. That's caught by Howard. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. Brady now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. To throw, it's Brady. There's the Penn State man, it's Chris Godwin. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They'll run on first down. It's Logan. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. And again this time to the tailback. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. So, so the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. With a never tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again in Super Bowl 54. Uses the spin, and he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. They had a big first half. Now they have a chance to add to that lead here in the opening possession of the second half. And everyone always asks about halftime adjustments, kind of the key phrase. What did you do at halftime? Well, the way they ran offense in the first half, I think they were very calm, congratulatory, but also what they were saying is don't expect them to be the same on defense. They'll be the ones making the adjustments. Let's see what they do, and we'll attack accordingly. And we'll see how they attack here. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And he gets this all the way down to the Patriots' 33. I'd have to say, that's a pretty darn good run right there. They had seven, what, eight in the box, still able to burn them. They've got to consider themselves lucky they only give up a first down and not a touchdown. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. And they got to get to the 23 here on third. And he'll give it here to his running back. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It's a six-yard pickup, but still a few chain links short, it appears, with fourth down coming up. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is, that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. He's going to float this one deep right side. He's got it. Hit the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Marquise Lee, 65 yards. And the Pats able to eat in just a bit to this sizable deficit. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? 
and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. He's just zipping along the deck. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. A big play there. 68 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and... And it's a Buccaneers touchdown. So the big play to kick off the drive set them up first and goal, and they're able to cash in right away on play number two. I think I'm starting to understand more and more when we get ready to do games and we meet with coaches, why they talk about big plays, explosive plays, and how it sets them up for success, because that's exactly how they're able to score on this one. We saw the touchdown. We saw the payoff. But, of course, that big, long chunk play is what got them in position. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said, you go over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. False start's going to push them back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Here's Brady to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Right back to him on first down. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Ten more there and another first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. T.J. Logan with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead will swell by one more. So that drive spanned five plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. Wide open receiver complete. Go, 
One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Newton. Completes his short throw to Stocker. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. Newton to throw. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. A shotgun snap for Newton. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 20-yard line. First down, here's White. And oh my goodness, he loses it again. And the Buccaneers have it. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. We just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I know a coach told me before, but he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. So after the run by McCoy, here's another first and 10. And now here's a carry heading left. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Throwing on second and 14. Brady, he finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. And he gets this deep into Patriot territory. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 44 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Different story this time around. We have that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here. Howard has the first down and then some. And did he get in? No. Down at the one-yard line. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. To throw is Brady. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown. And the blowout continues. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that will extend this big lead. This will be taken in at the one. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Less than two minutes remain here in Super Bowl 54. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. That's throw right, right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. From the gun, Newton. That's complete to White. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it's a second down. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Here's Newton. 
Here's Sanu on the catch. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one good for 13 and a New England first down. Newton on first down. And this one brought in by Sanu. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Newton will bring him up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. And a loose football. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here on board. So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made. Now they have to flip back and start over. Two yards, good enough for a first. 20. You don't want none, baby. You don't want none. On first down, Newton completes it to Lee. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Back to throw, Newton. And this is caught, it's Edelman. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won the Super Bowl and they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy to cap an amazing season.